Attention, a dimensional shift will occur momentarily. Guess what? We're gonna play Sky Kid. Hey, how did a kid get an airplane anyway? Let's go. Ready? Start! Take off! Yeah, I like doing the loop de loops in the game, it's important. Woo! Goes out of control a little bit. Loop de loop! Woo! Oh, bomb! Oops. I blew up. Gonna fly up high in the sky and drop a bomb towards the ground. Failed it! Oop. Hold that with my dive! And now all the girls turn into Maneki Nekos! And I landed. If you don't land, you run out of gas and crash into the sea. Wanna see what that looks like? Yo, let's crash into the sea. Crash into the sea, I'm a kamikaze psycho! Watch this. It's night time! Why is it night time? I did a loop-de-loop -loop by the sun and now that's... That's how night time happens. Hey girls, wish me luck. I'm gonna keep going. I don't wanna land. What happens when you don't land? Watch this. Oh, out of gas! Okay, let's go for real. Let's start a new game. Watch this. Yeah, that's how I land. That's my special landing. I mean, this is kind of a shooter, but because you shoot at an angle when you go up and down, it makes it kind of weird and difficult. A little different than a normal shooter. Because it's not a normal shooter. This is actually kind of before shooters were a thing, sort of. I mean, it's kind of an after uh, Galaga and stuff sort of a shooter. And Super Crash Landing! Get those hearts! They're worth points! Points for everything! Get points, get extra lives! Whoops. Dead. Extra life! That's what it's all about! Oh, here she comes! Kisses! I get lots of kisses! Cause I'm a war hero! I shot down airplanes and stuff! Pac-Man, save me! Nice! Thanks, Pac-Man! Oh, I missed my kisses! Bombs away! Got him! I'm an eight-year-old kid in a bike plane! And I'm gonna save the world from these Nazi-ish guys! There's a secret! If you hold down left on controller 2 and hit start, you gotta continue! Continue! Let's go! That must be a tiny biplane, I mean, compared to the size of his head? That's like one of those little tykes, uh, push car things, but with airplane wings. Sorry, guy, can't shoot you. Uh, okay, well, I can kamikaze you! Kamikaze the battleships if you don't have a bomb because they shot it out of your, uh... How do you fear what? I mean, how did that bomb hang on to your airplane? Is it magnetic? Trying to make jokes about the game. They're all so lame. My jokes are lame and they're all the same. Do, 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 do. Let's go play some games. A lot of people actually like this game. Not that many people played it in the arcades. But they also had Sky Kid Deluxe. And they had Versus Sky Kid. Versus Sky Kid was just this exact game. Except in an arcade cabinet. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, it's an airplane game. Run, run, run! Let me fly! No! Hey, she gave me points that time. Usually a bomb. What was that? I never saw that before. That was a new one on me. Kind of guys popped out of the thing. This loop de loop. Can't shoot you down if you're loop de looping. No. Well, those guys are jerks. You always got a loop de loop when you take off. That's the best way to do it. I don't know why more airplane pilots that don't loop loop de loop when they take off. Here he is. The secret. Gotcha. So if you shoot a penguin, they turn into their natural predator. 
That makes sense. Run, run, run. Oh yeah. Uh, epilepsy warning. Sorry. Ooh, bonus stage. Bonus stage is the way to go. Doo -doo -doo. That I'm also for. All right. Perfect. Only 19. Why weren't there 20? Bonus stages are fun. Do, 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 do. It's better than a slot machine. Take that, Super Mario 2, and lock and chase. Do, 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 do. Slot machine bonus stages suck. Do, uh. Sheesh. Game gets really hard. It's hard to shoot things and dodge and stay alive. But they, it's kind of fair, they give you a chance. Got a couple kisses. You know, without a continue option, this game would be impossible. I mean, come on, you'd have to you'd have to be like some kind of super gamer to beat the game without any continues. But even with, you have to be pretty good. Like, I've never done it. I played this game a billion times. But it does get kind of boring after playing for an hour or two. Same sort of thing over and over again. Okay. The goal is to get lots of kisses this time and not die. Gonna get kisses from the girls in the blue dresses Gonna shoot down airplanes Gonna get some medals Gonna be a war hero Saving the world in a biplane The army only has enough money For two biplanes and a couple bombs Against which they have to shoot down military Aircraft and lots of tanks and boats Yeah, it's a kind of a lopsided war, isn't it? I'm like a own hero, like one of those 1980s super uh, Rambo kind of things. But I'm an airplane! But that was kind of like the whole eight thing of the 80s. Like one lone soldier against like an entire military. I mean, I guess it's uh, more fun that way as a game. Hey girls, got some kisses! Oh, the girls love turtle. Especially the ones that I turn into cats. They love me the most. Shoot them in the face, and then they're a cat. Doesn't make any sense, but in the arcade game, they turn into pink blobs. They're supposed to be flowers or something, but they look like brains. Like you explode them and they turn into a brain. Kind of weird. You know, this uh, white plane kind of reminds me of that. Uh, did anyone else watch the Dennis the Menace cartoon back in the 80s? I used to love that show. There was an episode where uh, Dennis had to... Uh, build an airplane to fly against uh, PB, the genius boy. He actually built a biplane. It's pretty impressive. Kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Like that food chain reversal. Oh. Just keep loop-de-looping. Make a breather there. Wow, I almost did it. <laughs> One less loop-de-loop and I would have uh, had the bomb. Uh, there's a thing with a snowman, too. You loop you loop by the snowman? His, uh, head pops out. Kind of funny. Let's see if we can do it. There we go. One thing that's kind of cool about this game when you play two-player, uh, when player two shoots you, you, uh, you kind of spin out, you'll drop your bomb, but at the same time, if you're falling, if the other player shoots you, then it'll uh, pull you out of a dive. Yeah, so if you're like crashing and player two shoots you, it saves your life. Which is totally the opposite of how it should work. But it's a video game. Video game logic. Oh, everything's blue! Oh no, I landed in Smurf land! Oh, what's this? Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! Yeah, I totally run out of patience trying to beat this game. I mean, it's already been like 40 minutes, and I'm only halfway through the game. That's like an hour and 20 minutes at the same rate, which I know it's not going to be. It's going to be even harder. Like two hours of a pretty repetitive, but fun, but still repetitive game. Take you like two hours straight of gameplay, beat through the beat the whole thing, and you get kind of tired of it before then. I don't know, I'm already tired. It's already it's been halfway. It's going to get harder. This is like the final boss. You have to hit him, like, perfect in the middle. And, uh, so another 20 stages you get the chance, but it's... I'm not gonna go there. Yeah, thanks for nothing, you can do it, girl. 
More like the, you can't do it, girl. Hey, they're green again. Where are they green? I'm in Egypt. I don't think that's an accurate number of pyramids. Bombs away! Got him! Oh. Why are there, like, girls on the battlefield cheering you on? Kinda weird. I think they'd be worried about getting shot or something. Mmm, kisses. One, two, three, four. Ooh, extra life from kisses, that's the best! One, two, three, four, five, six! Six kisses! <laughs> hey, where's everybody? Oh, there they are! Oh, they're red now! Uh-oh. Red means bad! Where's the bomb? There it is. Oh, what's that? Well, maybe I'll keep going after all. Maybe I was wrong about where the end is. Got him! Yay! Think that thing? Ooh, I'm a hero! Hero of the ages! I shot down a dirigible! Dirt, dirt, dirigible? Oh, was I supposed to shoot that guy? Whoops. Yeah, another one! Oh no! Can even come a Coliseum. I want to be responsible for the Hindenburg disaster! It'll be notorious! The notorious turtle, the guy who shoots down blimps and dirigibles. Turtle the Sky Kid, Psycho of the Skies! Psycho Turtle in the Sky, gonna shoot ya, don't know why! That doesn't fit with the music very well! Psycho in the Sky, gonna shoot you, la la! Be -do -be -do -be -do. That's kind of the thing, sometimes when games are hard, but if they're fun enough, it's still addicting, it makes you want to play. And sometimes the difficulty makes it fun. Sometimes the difficulty makes it not fun. Like, sometimes the difficulty just makes it, like, really bad. Like, if a game's just, like, way too hard for you, it's not fun at all. But if a game's just a little too hard for you, then it becomes really fun. Because it makes you get better, and then you get a little better, and you get a little further. Kind of fun the way. You played Sky Kid in the arcade, yes sir. Cost you a quarter for three lives, and then you died a whole bunch, but you wanted to play more and more and more and more. more, more. And then you got the home game, and you could play it all the time for free. You didn't need any more quarters. You could just keep on playing, playing, playing. Then you go back to the arcade machine You think you're gonna get a better high score Then you get shot down right away And your score is really low and you can never beat the guy whose name is Ass Got him! I'm a superhero! No! Didn't time it right Whoops <laughs> Whoops didn't mean to kamikaze you, sorry. You're a psycho kid who likes to shoot things, doesn't know any better. Uh oh, watch out! Do, 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 do. You probably got a good reason, I don't know what it is. It's like hitting things with bullets and bombs. Help! Oh. You crash into a tree. Ah, uh, I missed! Gotcha that time! Haha, uh, thousand points! I made it! Ooh, look at my score! 19900, nice! 200k! I might get an extra life, who knows? Whoops. I guess I'll never find out. Okay, I had enough of that for now. But there was also a special version on Game Boy, Namco Gallery Games, or a series of games that were only released in Japan. They're compilations of Namco Game Boy games, but they often have some original Game Boy titles as well. This one has two original uh, Game Boy conversions, Sky Kid and Tower of Babel. The other two games are just uh, tennis and mahjong. Let's uh, give this one a little spin. Sky Kid! Let's go! Yeah, it looks almost just like the NES title screen. You don't have this on the NES. Character portraits. Baron and Max both play a little different. Baron is exactly like the uh, regular arcade and NES version, whereas uh, Max... Um, Basically the same, but he can only shoot two bullets instead of three. But if you're um, pushing to the right, you know, to slow down and shoot, then he shoots both up and down at the same time. So it's a little different, but I don't think it really helps the game that much. Let's play as Baron real quick here. Do, 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 do. Yep, just like the NES version. 
This one's got nice use of color. I'm high in the sky, gonna shoot some stuff. Gonna shoot these trucks. What are they delivering? Are they full of diapers? Or are they full of food? I don't really care. Do do do. Bombs away. Got him. Hey girls. Just like the NES version. The uh, spitting crash stop is harder to pull off in this one. That's my favorite move. Mission 2. Bomb that target. Now you know which one to bomb. Ooh, check this out. It even works on the Game Boy version. Ooh, dodged the bullet there. Bombs away. Got him. Yeah, it's pretty neat. And uh, one nice feature is it lets you continue. But you don't have to uh, put in the secret code. Let's play his backs this time real quick. Show you what he does different. Looks a little different. He's a uh, white. I mean, there's only so many colors they can show on the Super Game Boy at once. But you can hit the guys above and below you if you're just pushing back and shooting. Well, it's a little safer in some regards, but I think it doesn't work as good as I'd like. That's all I really wanted to show you with that. Kind of neat. Kind of different. But it's a really cool port. Time for the review. Well, Sky Kid. Yeah. Definitely I'm going to be reviewing the NES and Famicom version here, not the Game Boy one. It's not quite as good, but it's still, I mean, if you're a Game Boy aficionado, it's really cool to have. Yeah, Namco Gallery Volume 3, actually all three Namco Galleries are great. You should pick them up if you're a Game Boy crazy person like I am. Because they got some exclusives on there. They're compilations of things that were already released and things that were never released. But anyway, um... Hey kid, on the Famicom slash Nintendo. Yeah. So, uh, graphics. Graphics for this game, they're very simple. I can't rate them that high. Um, not bad for what they are. But I'll say a two. I think I'm being generous, maybe. I don't know, they're not great, but they're, they're adequate. I, I like I like the graphics on the game, but it is it is very simple. Got that early Namco kind of a look. Sound, I like the song. It's it's a good song, but it's it's like the only song. It's a little repetitive. Um, yeah, I'll just uh, uh, I'm gonna say it's a three. I'm being generous here because I have a lot of nostalgia and love for this game. So, yeah, take that as you will. Gameplay, yeah, the gameplay is great. A little too hard. Very repetitive. I mean, if the game was had a little more variety with it, um, like the stages were a little different, like they varied it up a little bit, made a sequel or something, it could be like 4.5 to a 5 maybe. But as is, gameplay... Hmm, I'm going to go a little high on it. Gameplay is a 4. That's, that's, that's my opinion. A lot of you might say, oh, it's only a 3 or a 2, but I'm going to go a little high because I used to love it in the arcade. Yeah, the arcade was great. The home version is great too. Yeah, overall, I'd say that Sky Kid is at least, at absolute least, a three. Oh yeah, I like the game. I think it's fun. You can play it a lot. I mean, you're probably never going to beat it because it gets re too repetitive to actually continue all the way through the whole game. I mean, with the amount of difficulty, the amount of times you're going to die, that'd, that'd be crazy to play through the whole thing. But if you really like it, you can play through the whole thing. There's a little bit of an ending, I believe. Sky Kid, good game. Play it. Play Sky Kid. Do it now! Get yourself a Sky Kid and play it! Yeah. And eat some bugs. Because bugs are good for you. And they're tasty. Okay. That's it for this time, everybody. See you next time on Happy House! Bye.